Hello, welcome to the show. I am Tony Green. Thank you for being here and joining me today. I'm very excited about today's show. There is going to be a lot. <laughs> I mean, I think there's going to be a lot that um, we discuss in today's show. Uh, there have been messages that they have been wanting me to put out that I have not put out <laughs> um, just due to uh, a number of different things. But I think today's the day that these uh, premonitions, at least one or two of them, might come out. Um, so uh, I can avoid that by just starting to take callers, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. Uh, so, but you can tell I'm stalling. I'm 100% stalling on this. So first, um, thank you for joining me. I'm really happy you're here today. If you would like to join the show, you can call in and the call in number is, um, 845-277-9131. And I'll be happy I go through my call log and take callers one at a time and allow them to ask questions as I uh, get the information through me for you. Um, so if you do want to call in and ask a question, please, by all means, call in and ask that question. Also, so, you know, there's... Um, Oh, they're starting without me. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the world today and um, in every country, every single country. It would seem almost like there's an agenda going on and this agenda would seem to be very local when it, when when it's actually very global. And um, boy, I did not want to go here today. <laughs> this is the last place I wanted to go today. <laughs> um, but they're telling me this is my job and I just need to do my job and not worry about it. So here I go. There's a lot of, well, there are actually quite a few agendas going on. And um, for those who who are ready, or, or I don't even know the words to use for this, but um, it's time to start paying attention to the bigger picture. It's time to start looking at what's going on, not only in your own backyard, but globally. Because only by understanding what's going on in the world at this moment can you help to change the direction of what's going on in the world at this moment. As you start to have a greater understanding for some of these global agendas, you will be able to exact change, not necessarily by the action you take, but knowledge is powerful. And not necessary that they are talking about educational knowledge. They're talking about the knowledge of, oh God, I don't wanna use the word agenda one more time. Um, they're talking about, boy, I've, <laughs> I've never been so nervous to give messages. Who? <laughs> I'm like literally shaking inside. Um, but apparently this is the time for these messages to come out. It's time for people to start looking at what's really going on. Open your eyes, wake up a bit to some of the things that you are being told and why, what is, what is, oh God, the word agenda again, what is the agenda behind these things that you are being repeatedly told 
repeatedly being made aware of. When somebody works to make a person or a group of people have fear, what's behind that? And when they work so diligently and vigilantly on every channel possible to spread this fear, to make sure that everyone is so aware, so 100% aware of this fear. Why? What's the purpose of that? What is the purpose and why would people want to make you afraid, make a group of people afraid? It's time to look at everything from a different set of eyes, from a different understanding. It's time to look at everything in a way that makes you question it. Now, I don't care what you're listening to or what you're watching. You should always question. You should also want more understanding. Don't take things blanket across. You should want more information from all sides at all times. If we are to trust the science, as they say, isn't your biological system the greatest science that there is? Do you not have the ability to heal your body from within? I am really fighting this, folks. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am really fighting some of the things they're wanting me to say right now more than you can even imagine. Um, but here we go. Everybody keeps talking about this great awakening. There's this great awakening. And yes, anyone can have an awakening on any day at any point. It's a new understanding is to be awake to wake up to a new way of thinking, a new way of understanding things. Where you put your trust and what you believe is just as important as as a uh, Hmm. Wow, folks. <laughs> I'm asking them to temper down what they're saying a bit because they want to be very blunt about this information. And I don't, I don't feel like that's the best course of action. But in a nutshell, here's what I'm going to tell you. In a nutshell, start to question things. If things don't make sense, look into it. If things don't make 100% sense, research it until it does. And not from the same sources you've been researching. There's a lot of information out there on every side of everything. But mostly go into meditation. We have common sense. We have intuition. Our common sense and our intuition will tell us everything that's going on right now doesn't make sense. So what's, what's the end game? Ooh, that's a really freaking good question. What is their end game? They did not do all of this with the end game of what you think it is. Figure out what the end game is, and you need to do that research on your own. And you will find the answers. Once you truly want to be awake and you truly want to know, you will find those answers. You just need to look. Don't go along to get along. 
That's how we've gotten to where we are. You must think beyond where we are to where they want us to be globally. And what we can uh, know about that, how we can possibly change that. Okay. I'm stopping there, um, and I'm going to start taking callers. So the first caller is area code 805. Let's go there. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, 805. How hi, are you? Tony. Hey, hi. Hey, hey, hi. This is Donna. How are you? I'm good, Donna. How are you? Yeah, you sound great. Oh, thanks. Um, I had a little, little run-in with a neighbor. I had found him the place to rent with a neighbor, and uh, he's like 15 years younger, but he kept calling me. Times, and I thought that it would go into like a stalking type thing, but he quit. I told him I was very, very sick. Uh -huh. So now he, uh, you know, doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to know, do you see a fellow coming in for me? Because I'd like to meet a nice fellow. This guy kind of scares me a little bit. Yeah. You know, he is a little, he does have a, a bit of an obsessive personality, um, this fellow. But there is somebody else coming in. And I, You know, every time we talk, I see someone coming in for you. And I know uh, you do tend to meet several people. I'm going to tell you, I feel like in a month to a month and a half, in, in 30 to 45 days, you're going to meet someone that really catches your eye. And, um, but you, but you um, have to be, you know, we say we're ready. We say we're ready until something goes wrong. We say we're ready until one of those red flags comes up. We say we're ready until we're triggered. So I'm going to do a clearing that I do, I think, every other show for sure. Um, we're ready, willing, and able to be in a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no on that, so we start clearing that. Uh, there's something stopping or blocking a healthy, loving relationship. I get a yes, so we start clearing that. This is for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. If you know that you want a healthy relationship or you're single or you're in a relationship, you can re-listen to this until you feel like everything that needs to clear has cleared. Now, one thing about this work is sometimes uh, the the stuff leaves right now. It's gone now, but it takes about a month for for the pattern or the belief to be reestablished to a better pattern or belief. Okay, so please know that. But but keep listening until you feel like okay, this this I feel like it's good now. I feel like this is really good now, and. Um, and I do feel like this gentleman coming in is a bit, he's mature, he's kind, he's not, on the on the surface, he doesn't seem like he has a lot of get up and go, just because he's, he's, he's a little bit more of the type of person who is a little bit more reserved. But he likes to go, he likes to do things, he has a lot of activity, he just doesn't have that like, that verbose personality like hey let's go do this he's he's not like that but he does love to do things so your first impression of him might be that he's a fuddy duddy but he is not give him a chance okay and yeah i do feel like um if you do give this gentleman a chance I feel like it has the potential to go very far. Again, I get within about, within 30 days, 45 at the most, I feel like he's local to where you live, not where you visit. And I do feel like he, he, he does really like to travel. He likes to explore. Um, and they're saying, <laughs> they are saying, 
uh, Donna, and this is really important. Since you have such an outgoing personality and sometimes you think you want someone that matches you there, well, th there can only be one ringleader. Sometimes somebody has to take the front and then you have a partner that kind of sits back and enjoys that. Um, so don't don't necessarily think just because he's not like verbose or on the outside, he's not going to make a good, he's not boring. He's not a fuddy-duddy. He just doesn't always need to have all of that um, like big show when he talks. Do you know what I mean by that? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so just That's know okay. that Yeah. and you'll be very, very happy. Um, and allow it to go, go at a, what it's, it, this is such a silly word at such a simple pace, allow it to go at a simple pace. Okay. Meaning it doesn't okay. need to yeah. blow up right away. It doesn't need to have all these fireworks, allow it to just grow, grow like a flower in a garden is what they're saying. So if you do that, you're going to be very, very, um, very excited about the results. So I sit back and I watch and I watch. When I first meet somebody, I am the observer. I watch and I watch and I watch and I watch and I, I pick up every little detail, every little detail. And um, I, I don't, I just do that. And then I understand the person. I don't do it with judgment. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm just observing. I feel like this gentleman is a lot like that. In the beginning, he's not going to put everything on the table. He's going to observe. He's going to watch. He's going to see how okay. genuine this is. That's, oh my God, that is so the perfect word. He's going to see how genuine people are. If their actions match their, their, the, if their behaviors match their words and their statements um and and he's gonna he's and again it's not judging it's just uh it's just ob observing so if in the beginning he doesn't seem like he is uh really gung ho don't worry about that just be true to who you are and enjoy it i feel like it has the the possibility of being a long-term relationship. But if I stated that factually, we're human and we self-sabotage and there's just that part of that. So everybody has free will choice. They can begin and end things as they choose. But I do feel like this does have the potential to be a significant relationship and be very long-term. Okay, love? Oh! Very excited. Thank you so much, Tony. You are Appreciate so. Appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure, and I can't wait to hear back and uh, and 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 hear all about this gentleman. Okay. All righty. And, and Donna, one more thing. It's it's. I know this is so cliche, but pay attention in grocery stores. When you're in a gross in a grocery okay. store, especially in the. Um, I know this uh, This is really exact, and I normally would not get this exact, but I see some kind of green fruit, like a pear, or just pay attention in grocery stores, okay? Especially in about a month, a month's time, okay? Will do. Thank you, love. Thank you, You're welcome. You. you are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is, I believe this is 33... Four. Hello, three, three, four. How are you today? Hi, Miss Tony. Hey. I'm fine. This is Kiki. Hey, Kiki. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm Kiki. Good. How are you? Good. I just need to tell you, your food that you cook and your videos look so good all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I need to go there for dinner tonight. That's where I need to be. <laughs> So, how can I help you today, Kiki? Well, you already know. I want to know about love. Do you see anything shifting, changing? Oh, yes. Okay, so Kiki, for you, you know what I'm going to do? I feel like your potential partner is, is blocked. I, I don't even feel like it's you at this point. 
I feel like it's your potential partner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh -huh. do a clearing for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Their partner is, Kiki's partner is blocked coming forward. Yes. So we're going to clear that. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this person, Kiki. I think you might have okay. an idea of who this person is already. Now, has she met uh -huh. him? I, when I ask if you've met him, I get yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So you might be aware of him. And sometimes, sometimes um, somebody on social media might reach out. Somebody on, you know, a friend of a friend might be watching us. Um, but I feel like, okay, oh, my goodness, here we go. This person that's coming in is in some sort of situation that they haven't gotten out of. Now, that does not mean another person. It doesn't always mean another person, okay? It can mean, it can mean another person, but I'm not, I'm not willing to say that because right away then we jump off. We're like, nope, nope, and which we should because if they're with another person, we don't want that. But this person is trying to get out of a situation now, let's look at all the possible situations this could be, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm getting this, but maybe they have family or friends staying with them for a temporary amount of time, and so they're not even trying to work on their personal life. Maybe they have a work situation. They're trying to get ahead with work. I know a lot of men, especially successful men, I know a lot of men that they will not date anybody seriously until they reach a certain point in their career. And then they feel like, okay, now I'm ready to settle down. I, I don't feel like it's quite right. that with him, but I do feel like there's something going on in his life, whatever it is. And it could be a million different things. So we're not going to presume that has him in a situation where he's not, he has too much going on right now, but he's coming. He's he's coming. And I do feel like I'm going to say you in some way, shape or form know this person, but have not met this person yet. So you may know okay. of this person. And I, when this happens, I want to know. I want to know the details because I want the all the blanks of this conversation to be filled in. So he, you may have seen him. Has she seen him in person? Nope. You may have seen him once or twice. And this might mean even just him popping up on social media once or twice. He is in your area. And again, I'm mm -hmm. seeing this guy that's a really solid guy, meaning um, he's not skinny. He's not skinny. Um, he just has a bigger frame, but he's also so solid. I'm just going to use that word. He's solid, but you don't okay. like skinny mini men anyway. So, um, he's, he's pretty solid. He's a pretty solid built guy and he is, uh, he has a good career. It's his career is solid. He is a faithful man. He's faithful. Once he's in a relationship, he's very faithful. But here's, there is something going on in his life right now. And it's been going on longer than he expected it to. And he is going to, um, I'm going to say, okay, there's the possibility of conversation in March or a, some sort of connection in March. But April, okay. April is, given the fact that everything starts to settle out or clear up, April is when you should make your first connections. And then into, by June, the two of you should be, be talking pretty, pretty steady. Now, the one thing they're saying is this is one of those situations don't put all your cards on the table. Uh, I'm not saying okay. to, I, I, I just don't, don't tell your whole life story 
let him buy the book. Okay. <laughs> That's a good way of saying it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, like, so, okay. <laughs> so, so I'm going to just clear again um, for you and everybody listening. Our partner is ready, willing, and able for that full on moving forward situation. I get a no. We're going to clear that again. And I used a little different verbiage there just to, uh, to, to be covering uh, some other bases. I'm going to tell you, I feel like he's going to come in. He's going to approach you. I feel like if it, you may have heard of or know of this guy through a friend of a friend or through some sort of social media, you're already familiar with this person in some odd way. Now, this does not mean go on your social media and start social stalking. That is not <laughs> what I am saying. Do not get on all your social media and go, nope, 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 nope. Um, don't do it because, <laughs> because you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What I am. I was thinking. Yeah, no, I know you were. I know you were. And do you know how I know you were? Because that's exactly what I would be doing. I'd be on my phone right now, flipping through pictures, <laughs> knocking them off. Not this guy, not this guy. Um, but this guy, I'm going to tell you, he is going to love your cooking and he is going to love your family. And I do feel like he is a man that has faith. Now, when I say that, sometimes people are like, eh, that doesn't always mean religion. It doesn't always mean like he's a Baptist or he's a Catholic. It means he has faith, okay? So I feel yeah. like that's going to be really good for the two of you also. I do feel like... 90 seconds. I do feel like March or April is when you first become more like you have an awareness of this person i feel like either god i i just like somebody has brought him up to you in the past or <sighs> okay okay here's the thing it's going to happen very slow and almost magically like you're not even going to realize that you fall for this guy by the time you fall for this guy okay so I just want you to know so that. Is it a soulmate? Uh, you is know what? I don't or? I don't like to use those terms, although I know they're accurate because it gives it so much more importance. And then we feel like if if something goes wrong, we feel like, oh my God, I missed messed up my soulmate. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. it, uh I do believe that there are certain relationships that are absolutely destined. And I feel like this person coming in is a destined situation. And that's why he has to kind of clean up his stuff on his end also. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to say thank you so much, everybody, for listening today and joining me today. Please go make some magic. <laughs>